injured, somebody gets sick. I mean, you get a lot of elderly people in this, and I'm an ER doctor. I'm consequentially aware that uh, anything can happen. They could flip, literally flip the house uh, majority just because of somebody's sick. And a little more broadly, are you concerned at all about any kind of brain drain of folks leaving Congress? You know, you also had yesterday Patrick Henry committee chair announced that he's not going to run for re-election. You know, he's a bit of a younger guy. Uh, let's talk about the doctor's caucus alone. We're losing our two most senior members, uh, Burg uh, Burgess and um, Winstrom. Uh, that's huge. Uh, Burgess was uh, the last guy around when the Affordable Care Act was passed. He's, uh, he's written books on it. He actually knows health care better than anybody in Congress. Uh, absolutely brain drain. I'm very concerned about where we go with health care, one of the most complex issues of our time, uh, the most expensive thing in government, and uh, yeah, we're losing a lot of corporate knowledge, and I'm worried about that. Um, can I ask you, um, Congresswoman Queen suggested you're physically aggressive with her. What happened? Well, I, I think most people realize I'm a pretty friendly guy, actually. Yeah, I, I, I don't call people out. I, I don't uh, make fun of people publicly. I try to get along with everybody. I try to encourage everybody. I meant to encourage her. She didn't take it well. I think it was a very emotional day for her, especially. Uh, and I'm sorry she took it wrong. But she, she doesn't think it was something that was in jest. Obviously not. Right. Does that concern you that she thinks I, you were being physically aggressive? Look, I, I mean, it was on the. If I was going to be physically aggressive with somebody, I'm a Marine and I'm a rugby player. I'm not going to pick the House floor to be physically aggressive in front of 400 and some odd number of people, yes. that's just not, first of all, it's out of character for me. I, I think of myself as a very friendly person in general. I, I like to like everybody. I like to get along with everybody. I think most people understand who I am and who she is, and, and I'll let people judge for themselves. What did the speaker say to you when you talked to him about it? He was glad to hear my side of the story, and, and I think uh, he, he has basically come to neutrality on it, is my understanding, uh, you know, without being a witness of, of the event itself, it's hard for anybody to make a, a sound judgment. So you just you grab her arms? What would happen? I, I literally reached out and said, "Look, at least at least you and I, at least you and I can have a, a, an honest discussion." That was about it. The way that's exactly the way I remember it. I mean, I was actually trying to encourage her because uh, I know that my censor had just passed. And, uh, and there's other people who have dishonest conversations. I thought it was an honest discussion. I actually offered to help her fix her original sense and not take any credit for it. Uh, she, she didn't want any part of that. So, is it, so it was a friendly interaction on your part. You're saying? On my part. Uh -huh. I thought so. Did the speaker indicate any action is going to be taken no. now? Thank you very much. Thanks, guys. Thanks for your time. Thanks.